Okay, we're in, boys. Bosco! Free anti-mind control helmets for the first 50 lunatics to come out of hiding! I've been telling you, little pals, he's just plain vanished. We'd better look around the joint for clues. Good plan, Samo. Guess that's why they call you guys in for the brainy stuff, and leave the senseless violence to the likes of me. I deeply resent that comment, Mr. Paper. Yeah, Flint. We're gonna have to join together and use every detective skill we know to find Bosco. Well, that's a no-go. Any more ideas? Hmm, let me think. Hey, Flint. Found anything yet, Sammy? Still working on it. Any leads on where Bosco went? He kept yapping on about T-H-E-M and his secret bunker. The poor delusional sap. What's the word on the street on Bosco's disappearance? I've been making chin music with every pigeon in this bird, but nobody's singing. Trails dried up like a hobo's inner thigh. How quickly the lingo goes from colorful to gut-churning. What happened to Bosco again? It's like I told you, Sam. He's vanished like a C-note on race day. Right off the face of the earth! How long has Bosco been missing? While you were in Schnitzeltown making chummy with the undead, there was a ruckus in the back of this dive. After that, the B-man took a powder. Why were you keeping an eye on Bosco? A going away present for my old partner. God rest that bastard. First case he ever had, 40 years ago, and never solved. Some doll who wanted to keep an eye on this Bosco mook. Said he'd done her wrong, and he had to take the fall. Don't worry, Flint. We've got the skills to find whoever kidnapped Bosco. I am still president, after all. That may be, but are you a bad enough president to rescue the dude? Stick around, Flint. You boys know where to find me. I've always wondered what Bosco keeps hidden back here. I've always wondered if he's wearing pants back there. Wow, it's everything we needed to solve last year's hypnotism conspiracy. Whew, I'd kill for a time machine right about now. Of course, I'd kill for just about anything. This keypad must control the laser grid blocking Bosco's bathroom. Oh, use it to spell boobies. I love that. Bosco, lasers, and pushing random buttons are three things that don't go well together, little buddy. Wow, it's everything we needed to solve last year's hypnotism conspiracy. Whew, I... Wow, it's everything we needed to solve last year's hypnotism conspiracy. Whew. It's Bosco's My First Moai Head toy. My first Moai Head, and hopefully my last. Bosco? Nope, different weenie. that paranoia and he couldn't even save himself hey seismo what's shaking no clues here are t-h-e-m really out there it shows you what's inside what's inside no clues here our lust for this tangy fruit drink started this whole mess bosco you in there i hope not or bosco be gone we already checked the roof. Just a Pigeon AA meeting. Nothing worth mentioning. The freezer's Bosco free. A 
painful reminder of the Bosco-shaped hole in our hearts. No Boscos in here. Nah. Bosco must have left. All right. Let's have a look at your x-ray, Mr. Moai Head. We'll see what's causing that persistent tinnitus. Prognosis, Sam? Either this toy has a tumor the size of an overfed cat, or it's too dark to read it. Hmm, it looks like... Say it? It looks like Bosco's as clever as you are at cutting-edge intellectual humor. <laughs> you gotta admit, that is pretty funny. It's the x-ray I took of Bosco. A piece of paper inside says 5318008. You get it, Sammo. Let's check in the bathroom for more clues. Let's see if there's anything in the bathroom to tell us where Bosco's top secret bunker is. Or maybe the bathroom is his top secret bunker. This is exactly where I'd want to spend an apocalypse. I sense that something terrible happened here. Ho ho, you don't know the half of it. If you explode it, they will come. And if it's brown, flush it down. Hot toilet wine. Everything Bosco would need to survive for months. Bosco keeps plenty of baking soda on hand to keep the bathroom fresh. Bosco's disguises, each more offensively ludicrous than the last. Bosco's high-tech 100% convincing disguise kit. So, which kit was he using last year, then? A jumbo-sized bag of cotton balls. D don't open it, Sam! I can never eat just one! Tons of model volcanoes just like the one on Easter Island. It's like Bosco was obsessed with this shape. Like I'm obsessed with the shape of Bosco's unnaturally bulbous forearms? A little like that, but slightly less creepy. There's no way I'm touching that towel, not after all the people who've been using it. But Bosco and I are the only ones who ever come back here. Exactly. Rampaging Roy Neary with a meat and two sides. Recognize that from Easter Island, Max? It's a model volcano. I'd say it's downright exemplary. It's an industrial-sized barrel of baking soda. Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley. Woof! Nippy Valley woof. Or putty time or any time. Some idiot left the cork out, Max. It turned to vinegar. Bosco has all his shirts specially treated to block out the thought control rays. Lest nefarious forces take control of his nipples. Bosco's been ordering nothing but baking soda and paper mache. The Bosco Tech Drain Liberator 6000. Now, I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Not after seeing what it did to that sludgy delivery guy. The sound alone still haunts my nightmares. I'm pretty sure I can hold it until the end of the case. Pretty sure. 
I would clean up in here, but I don't want to disturb any evidence. Urinals. Such a crude and barbaric means of bladder relief. Says the guy who uses the fire hydrant. If you explode it, they will come. And if it's brown, flush it down. Baking soda plus vinegar equals eruption. Sounds hot, but they didn't leave a phone number. Not Whee! big enough. Bigger. Ugh, sheesh. Even bathrooms aren't safe from natural male enhancement spam. Nah, I have... It's an industrial-sized barrel. What was that for, Sam? That barrel was looking at me funny. The school board said our cases had no educational merit. Do it again! Do it again! What's that noise? They've come for us, Max. It's T-H-E-M. Good! About time we found out who's responsible for this travesty. Can explain. Did you get a haircut, Bosco? There's something different. Finally see a doctor about that, uh, personal problem? You guys done? Yeah, that's all we got. Good. Now shut up and help me! What seems to be the problem, Bessie? That, that elevator over there! It's horrible! I went inside looking for T-H-E-M, but when I got out, I saw my mother! Yes! It gets worse. I ran out of there fast as I could, and when I came out, I was like this. You gotta fix it, guys. What are you doing on an alien spaceship? I got tired of being scared of T-H-E-M. I finally said, bring them on. I built this device that let me predict where they were gonna show up next. Then I let them come on and take me. So, did you get udders, or are you a boy cow? That's none of our business, Max. What happened next, Bosco? I used the device on myself, you know, to test it. After that, it's all a blur. Where's this THEM detector device you were talking about? I don't know. I must have lost it in that elevator after I got turned into this, 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 this thing. What is this place, Bosco? You guys still don't get it? This is it. The center of the entire operation of THEM. Kinda sparse for the headquarters of a sinister cabal bent on world domination. You don't need much room when you can go anywhere you want through time and space. What's with all the volcanoes back in your store? Guys, guys, try to keep up. Haven't you figured anything out yet? The volcano is what summons the spaceship, fools! Sam, is it my imagination, or are we being scolded by the guy who's half cow? The place seems pretty empty. Where are T-H-E-Y hanging out? I don't know, but you can bet they're around here somewhere. Just waiting to probe us and turn us all into freakish animal-human hybrids. Bosco, Sam is standing right here. 
Don't go anywhere, Bosco. Now where am I gonna go looking like this? Help me get back to normal, guys. Normal? <laughs> we'll get you back the way you were before, but uh, we're not promising more than that. Looks like some kind of weird alien radio. Hey, Max, what do you think this thing is? Calibrating. Complete. I now have mastered your primitive but no less valid language. Please choose from the following topics of conversation. How do we use that elevator? Simply choose a destination. Additional destinations can be opened using convenient pre-printed time cards. Who are you? I am this craft's artificial intelligence. I supervise the operations of this craft and the activities of its crew. Where's the crew? They are currently occupied with the craft's primary mission. They will arrive shortly to detain you for your own safety. What happened to Bosco? The intruder made unsanctioned use of the time shuttle. What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond in the style most appropriate to the user. Please choose from the following options. Passive aggressive. Selection acknowledged. I'll just alter my entire personality matrix to make you more comfortable. We'd like to get a time card, please. I cannot print a time card until the captain chooses a destination. So long. Fine. Leave. It's not like I was still talking. We're already there. Bosco's again? How'd we end up back here? Judging from the lack of safety railings and ready availability of guns and ammo, I'd say we've gone back in time. Seems to be some time in the early sweet mother of mole sauce. You fools gonna buy something, or do you want to make a baby? Well, uh... now. You must be Mrs. Bosco. That's Ms. Bosco. I don't want any part of your oppressive patriarchy. Fair enough, ma'am. Miss, you. Who are you? Sam and Max, freelance police. Finally, the police. Maybe you can help me catch that fool. Which fool did you want us to catch exactly? That, that man who just came in here yelling about conspiracies and busting up the place. Bosco always did know how to make a memorable first impression. Can you tell us more about the man who trashed your shop? He took one look at me and screamed. That should narrow the list of suspects down to... any man with eyes. Then he stumbled back and ran right into my baby maker. Ouch! We can't take the case, but we'll keep an eye out for your vandal, Miss Bosco. I swear if I ever find him, I'm gonna make sure he gets no pleasure in this life. Ah, oh, I haven't heard a tale of motherly love like that since the Manchurian Candidate. See you later, Ms. Bosco. We're gonna pick up some swinging 60s chicks and start a groovy hullabaloo. Men. Cut it out, Max. You don't even like girls. Oh, right, right. You got a problem with women? Nah, just never interested. With all the general malice I have to get done in a day, girls are just a huge waste of time. I have never been as turned on as I am right now. Uh, what? You just never found the right woman. And I never found the right man. Forget the baby maker. Catastrophic temporal anomaly detected. 
Run away with me, Max. My white stallion. Curse my irresistible animal magnetism. Miss Bosco, I really think you should reconsider. I can already see us. Living next door to that nice detective. Well, it would be nice having someone to do my laundry. You don't even wear clothes. And yet, I always end up with so many bloodstained shirts. Tis a mystery. Max doesn't even like girls. They're a nuisance at best. Hasn't been interested since? Well, when did that start exactly? I think it all goes back to that time we were... No flashback? Mm, okay. Well, it's been ever since junior high. You're wasting your time, Miss Bosco. Max just isn't interested. The more he protests, the more I know he's the one. Nine millimeter hollow points are always special. Nations rise and nations fall, but those hot weenies will outlast us all. What was that you said about making a baby? I'm made uncomfortable by this line of questioning, Sam. That's just because you're scared of a world where career-minded women don't need to be tied to a man to have a family. This ain't the past anymore. It's the 1960s. They can talk about putting a person on the moon, and I can invent a baby-making machine. Well, how does this baby-making machine work? You just take a DNA sample from the mother and the other person and combine them in that machine. Let it bake a couple hours, and you've got a beautiful baby girl. Or boy, I guess. I've already got my own samples in there. I'm going to test it out tonight after closing. Uh, how do you get the DNA samples? Isn't that obvious? Saliva, fools! Well, naturally. Oh, of course. Where'd you get the father's sample? Oh, him. Well, I was just in Washington, D.C. for a special occasion, and when I was touring the White House, I met a nice man in a dark suit. He was polite and didn't say much. Seemed like his spit was as good as anybody else's, so I picked him. Fight the power, Miss B. You be careful out there, Max. Looks like a weird bread-making machine. Don't be silly. That's my baby maker. You take a spit sample from the mother and one from the father, mix them together in that machine, and then out comes a happy little bundle of perfection. Finally, somebody explains how that works. That's not the generally agreed upon method, Max. Hmm, what's this? It's my chemical sampler. Get somebody to spit on it, and it gives you a sample test tube for the baby maker. Mind if we borrow it? Go ahead. I already got all I need. Baby food and bum wipes. If you use less of one, you wouldn't need as many of the other. We're better to crunch numbers than in the john. Russians send first woman into space. Soon they'll send all their women into space. Cold orange things you suck never go out of style. Milk and hooch. Something for the kitties and something for your cereal. Hey Max, remember that old carbon dater we got from Sybil last year? 
Yeah, we gave it to Bosco so he could keep scanning his weenies. Looks like he's made some uh, modifications to it. They're... they're... They're beautiful. Whee! What do you think you're doing? You know, the usual. Traveling through time and stuff. Override. You've caused a catastrophic temporal anomaly. You're going back to the ship so you can think about what you've done. Just look at what you did. Sam, what's a catastrophic temporal paradox? That! What the hell did you guys do? Max, when you made Mama Bosco decide not to have a baby, that meant Bosco was never born. But if Bosco was never born, then we never would have gone back to meet Mama Bosco in the first place. Neat! Are you fools just gonna stand there explaining everything, or are you gonna fix me? Sheesh! Give a guy a cool cow body, and all of a sudden he's the owner of the time stream. Moo! What did you say? Moo, fool! Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley brand vinegar. Ah, some idiot left the cork in, Sam. It's still wine! Let's just let that breathe for a few decades, Max. No timeout needed. We're better to crunch numbers. Why'd we come in here again? I just assumed you had to go number one. Nah, I save it all up for between cases. I guess we might as well look around while we're here. Mama Bosco keeps this place a lot more sanitary than her son ever did. Well, she's got one big advantage. We haven't been born yet. We've got to stop meeting like this, Max. Uh, a little privacy, please? I can't make wisecracks with anybody looking at me. Stay close, Max. Not too close. It printed a time card with Stinky's logo on it. Hmm, it printed out a card with the Intergalactic Freelance Police logo. Sounds intriguingly futuristic. We're already there. I miss me. What was that? It printed a time card with a presidential seal and some strange numbers.
do you two want? It's the one true stinky! Are we glad to see you? Why? Still, it's a new person to talk to. Look, Sam! It's us as impressionable preteens! Exceedingly well done! Hey, little guy. What are you scamps up to? I'm only playing Bluster Blaster, the newest and best video game ever made, duh! Nice try! Shouldn't you kids be doing something constructive? Or at least less nerdy? Today I get to do anything I want! You do anything you want every day, Max! You're the best! Just say no, little buddy. Word up! Can I borrow that screwdriver? Well, as long as you promise to bring it back. I hate to think what would happen if I had to stop working on computers. Uh, yeah, uh, sure thing, kid. Hey, champ, what are you working on? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. But we're strangers who have candy and cool guns you can play with. Well, that should be okay. I'm working on my new arcade game, Bluster Blaster. What are you doing with Bluster Blaster? I built him from a kit. Now I'm just working on the AI. Now I remember! You used to be a total nerd, Sam! Funny, though. All this time we've spent talking to the cops, and you never once mentioned you're the guy who built Bluster Blaster. It just never seemed relevant, I guess. What's wrong with the video game? It's fine, I guess. But with only a 1 megahertz processor and this 8-bit I.O. adapter, the AI doesn't get enough cycles to... Can the dork lingo, Chubbs. Just give me the recap. It'd be easy enough to download a new AI, but I haven't found one that's any good. What was that you needed for your video game again? A new artificial intelligence, Grandpa. Don't you grown-ups know anything about computers? Shouldn't you kids be outside playing or dating or whatnot? Outside? It's 8 o'clock at night. When I was your age, I would have set fire to at least four different categories of things by this hour. Nuh-uh. You would have been playing that video game all day, just like he is. Don't you sass me, boy! You're lucky that you grew up to be the only one who knows how to use the time machine, kid. Aren't you worried you're turning into something of a... well, uh... Dweeb? Doofus? Dorkwad? Who cares? I don't need you guys or anybody else. Max never calls me names. That's right, Poindexter. Good shot! Wouldn't you rather grow up to be as cool as I am? With a boss car and a detective job and a huge gun? Hmm, would I have to be as fat as you too? Temporal anomaly detected. You got lucky, punk. There's got to be something more constructive to do than work on this game all night. Well, there is that prom at the school tonight. This year's theme is Summer of Awakening Desire. Lame. 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 Well said. A smooth kid like you must have dozens of girls wanting to go to the prom with you. Uh, don't lie to the boy, Sam. Nah, all the girls are into Max because he's mean to them. And also, he doesn't complain when they dress him up in their doll clothes. The precious memories. Let's stick to one neurosis at a time, Max. Don't you want to get out and meet more sexy young people your age? Yeah, who's got time for that? My video game is so close to perfect. You're amazing! Oh, Bluster Blaster, you know me too well. Make good choices, son. Didn't you guys say I could play with your guns? We lied, kid. Remember this. It's a good life lesson. Looks like Girl Stinky was telling the truth for once. The gooey molasses tar cake really is an old family recipe. Hi, Stinky. Are you the parents of those two parasites? Well, not exactly. Although we do still have a time machine, so I wouldn't completely rule out the possibility. That's gross, Max. I'm just saying. 
we bring a warning from the future. In about 25 years, you're going to be... murdered! Murdered my swollen pancreas. I once wrestled four rabid grizzlies while standing on the back of a rutting alligator while being pelted with karate-tipped darts and fighting off a case of irritable bowel syndrome. I'd like to meet the man who can murder old Stinky. Hi, I'm Max. Honest, Stinky, we're detectives and we've seen all the evidence. You're gonna get offed. When? How? And who's going to do it? Well, we don't know exactly. Detectives is really more of a catch-all term for guys with guns. Some woman claiming to be your granddaughter has taken over your restaurant. Granddaughter Mike left Pallet. I never had any children. Really? A cantankerous, misanthropic, hairy old cuss like you would be great with kids. Hmm. Perhaps. Someday. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to rush you, Stinky, but if you're planning kids, you're gonna have to get on that pretty quick. We're from the Public Health Board. Almost none of the vermin in this establishment are wearing federally approved hairnets. Government types. Pah! Weak and pathetic, the lot of ye. You can't even begin to comprehend what I'm doing here. My dishes will challenge the weak and weed out the inferiors like you jelly-jawed lip-flappers. Only the strongest will survive. It will be glorious! <laughs> So, are you going to show us to our table, or what? How are the 80s treating you, Stinky? What are you two still doing here? No animals allowed in my diner. It's okay. We're service animals. We want to order something. Too bad. We'll take a pan-fried red panda with... What? Can't you see? I'm so close to perfecting my gooey molasses tar cake. I can't be arsed to cook for you hooligans when I got so much cooking to do. Could we be seated already? No shirt, no shoes, no service. We're being discriminated against, Sam. What's a gooey molasses tar cake? It's based on my ancient family recipe. But my proud, knuckle-dragging forefathers never thought to use my secret ingredient. The blood of innocence! Nutmeg. You're both wrong, and you're both stupid. It's the one thing no one has ever thought to use before. I'll test your tar cake for you, Stinky. Sam can, and will, eat anything. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? to just waltz into a restaurant and order something to eat. You're just trying to find out my secret ingredient. Well, you won't, because it's the one thing no one has ever thought to use. Thanks for the chat, Stinky. I just go away and die. But most of all, thanks for just being you. Weird, it doesn't work on him for some incomprehensible reason we don't care enough about to pursue further. Good, keep your fancy gewgaws and who's who watch it away from me. No siree. I've already scanned myself with this thing. I already scanned Max with this thing. And that's how we got here. There's just the one song. As Stinky would say, if you don't like it, go deaf. Check this out. It's from 1963, and it's signed by the president. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight at Stinky's. Wear that dress I like, the one where I can see your holy. I didn't think they knew that word back then. The president's wife wasn't named Maxine. What is this, the Temperance League? Lighten up! Looks like this case has a screw loose. Yes, distract Stinky for me. Oh my god, look, Stinky! Yeah, what, what? Somebody's trying to break into your display case! Ah, 
real smooth, little buddy. Another satisfied customer. I really don't want to screw that. Gooey Molasses Tar Cake. Looks like Girl Stinky was telling the truth from a family recipe. Memorable toast. Is that toast, Lincoln? I knew Girl Stinky didn't really salvage this from the Titanic Part 2. Old Stinky was the only one who could make a restaurant feel like home. F plus. I'm not sure if that's failing well or failing poorly. It's a letter from the president to a movie starlet named Maxine Le Pew back in 1963, asking for a rendezvous at Stinky's. Bosco already scanned himself with this. Sam, more visitors. I don't know how to use a light bulb with that. There, there, Sam. Hello, future me. I can't shoot, Max. Apparently, all those years of adventuring have taken their toll. I can't use these things together. Hey, future Max. Oh, hey, guys. Look, Sam, more visitors for your special day. Comically backwards past versions of ourselves. Nah, I want to keep these shoestrings. That's nice, Sam. Do you remember how we cured Bosco of his parentage problems? Bosco, Bosco. Oh, he's the guy who invented Skynet, isn't he? No, I was hoping I'd be the one who did that. I don't remember much about that case. Uh, something about spit, wasn't it? I'm glad to see the old freelance police are still in business. Yes, dear stupid past Sam, but of course now we're a wholly owned subsidiary of Stinky Corp. What's Stinky Corp? <laughs> Get a load of this, Sam. These yokels have never heard of Stinky Corp. I don't feel like playing darts right now. Yes. Well, anyway, Stinky Corp is the mega corporation that owns everything in the future. Stinky made enough money from her diner to take over the world? No, no, cretinous Max. From her super adhesive. What's this about Stinky super adhesive? It revolutionized the whole galaxy. Now it's used for everything from scrapbooking to alien spacecraft. She's claimed in interviews that it was based on an old family formula. But Sam and I think we figured out the real secret. It's made from Mole Men. You must have been having a ton of exciting future adventures in space. No, oh, we don't take that many cases anymore. We try to stay mostly around this street and the neighboring shops. Still? If you're not taking cases, what do you guys do? I've become an expert in volcanology, and Sam is... <laughs> Well, Sam is in his own world now.
Great transmogrifying vapor wolves of Rite Hill 17. <laughs> Booster rocket through the Van Allen belt. I'm in my office. What's wrong with the other me? Oh, he's fine. Mostly. The years add up, though. It's lint from my pocket. This should be useful later. The future is a baffling potpourri of peculiar sights and odors. Yes, our advanced world must be frightening and confusing to you. I'll try to speak slowly, so that your 21st century brains can understand. So much in the office has changed. Oh, the wonders I could show the two of you, if I wasn't afraid of violating the time stream. Yeah, the time stream's asking for it. Well, okay. In the future, we can make phone calls to other people, even when we're not at home. My god! And our cars now have additional brake lights above the rear seats. What about robots? Do we have robot slaves in the future? With lasers? Oh, you uncultivated savages. Robots are used for controlling our spaceships these days. Surely you've heard of the main Tron 28000 line? Well, of course! Right, Sam? Everybody's heard of that. I can't shoot, Max! Be seeing ya. So long! That's how we say goodbye in the future. With this bad boy, we'll never need another file cabinet. The bulletin board's all wet and ruined. We must get careless in the future. Who cares? Looks like we kept Bosco's model volcano after all these years. Blowing things up for science will never go out of style. High-tech rats. What future dystopia is this? Whoa! I hate pack rats. Hmm, guess we couldn't afford two tape drives. Not much use for this anymore. Hmm, it's an obituary from the local paper. More trophies from our victims! Who'd we get this time? Local mariachi Pedro died this week, due to complications from... From what? A perfectly aimed bullet to the evildoer's cold black heart? I can't read the rest. It's too blurry. The bulletin board's all wet and ruined. We must get careless in the future. Who cares? Their appeal is timeless. How embarrassing. This is 30 start dates behind. How goes the case, future me? I can't reach it. Keep up the good work. Where we're going, we won't need coach. What's this about stinky? It revolutionized craft. Cured out the. It's me. So long. Our time card collection is growing. Good thing the elevator has plenty of free slots. I've already scanned Max. Nuh uh. Not happening. No way. Nope. My summer office. I don't think so, Max. Take a look around. 
Welcome to the Oval Office, visitors. Next tour begins in 30 minutes. This is a long time before the horrific sequence of events that led to your presidency. I'm not leader of the free world here? This will not stand! Whoever chose this lamp was taking liberties with the concept of good taste. It's the official calendar of the United States. The best part of being president is changing the date for the entire country. I don't want to change the date right now. I'm temporarily confused enough as it is. The father of our country. I wonder who's in this picture. It probably came with a frame. Annals of Americana. Foreign policy for ninjas. If I remember my history correctly, today's the day of the pivotal rat peace accords. We'd better not disturb them. Whee! Having 50 of these pillows would make the place a lot more comfy. We could build a fort! Hi there, random secret service agent. I can answer any of your questions. Please don't touch anything. I'm Agent Superball. Superball? It's a code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. In the future, we know a guy who looks just like you, with the same name. I've never seen you before. And there couldn't be another Agent Superball, sir. The code names are unique. Oh, Superball! I get it! Where's the president? He's in the war room. Important national crisis. And when I said national crisis, I meant to say he's just watching television. We are not at the brink of war with Cuba. All right, Sam, our mission is clear. Nuke the commie bastard! I think we've seen enough of the war room for one lifetime, Max. Yeah, you're right, Sam. Having to hurt people from a distance takes all the fun out of it anyway. What do you think of the president? He's the greatest man who ever lived, sir. Oh, these poor bastards of the 60s having to grow up in a world without David Arquette. Heard any good gossip about the president? Extra toes or nipples, can't talk to the press without slices of ham stuffed down his pants. Stuff like that. The president is beyond reproach, sir. I won't hear any more of it. How long have you been working for the White House? Just a few months. I've already been assigned my first door. That's all you do? Guard this door? Not at all, sir. I also provide tours, run the patent office, and narrate public service announcements. That's a lot of work for one man. I'm still new. In 40 years, I'll be promoted to receptionist. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? We'd like a tour of the office. Very well, sir. That's a desk. There's a couch. Another couch is there. A calendar. Some pictures. The door you see behind me is 100% northwestern white pine with an interior flat jam in. That's plenty, thanks. We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. We wish to crush competing inventors to see them driven before us and hear the lamentations of their patent lawyers. Very well. What'll it be? It's a formula for cat litter that explodes when it comes into contact with urine. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. I'd need a sample of the invention, plus an explanation of what makes it unique. We want to hear you narrate a public service announcement. All right. Are your cigarettes killing you? As unbelievable as it might seem, cigarettes made outside the U.S. actually contain chemicals that are addictive and possibly even harmful. For your own safety and that of your children, smoke only homeland-grown tobacco, the kind doctors recommend for your good health. Now you know, for a better America. Just keep guarding that door. Gladly, sir. Did you see a strange woman in here a while ago? Assertive career woman, asking everyone to spit. That's the one! Yes, sir. I admired her independent spirit and sass. We came here from the far-off future. Aren't you amazed and surprised? Isn't that shocking? I've seen a lot of things, sir. It takes a lot to shock me. Oh, really? I bet we could surprise you. Can't be done, sir. I'm imperturbable. 
We're your new sons. And we want to live in your house! And raise my children of questionable parentage! And we're both axe murderers. And I'm voting for Barry Goldwater! Nothing? It's like I said, sir. I'm not startled easily. We killed your dog. I'm surprised, sir. Really? Yes. Surprised that you try that one again. It never works. We come from the beginning of the 21st century. In the future, television is delivered through thick cables instead of being sent through the air. Does that not blow your ever-loving mind? Not really, sir. I'm not easily startled. All right, we give up. The man's a rock, Sam. Nice try, sirs. I almost felt my pulse rate increase there. We need your... What will it be, sir? We want it. Very well. What'll it be? It's for a baby crib that rocks itself, using a motor powered by angry bees. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a... I need a sample of the invention, plus an explanation. Just keep guarding. Gladly, sir. Heard any good gossip about the president? The president is beyond reproach. Keep up the... Thank you, sir. It printed a time card with our logo on it. Hey, Superball, would you mind spitting on this? It's for a science project. Can't, sir. I never spit, unless I'm startled or under extreme distress. I think I'm better off not knowing what Max is made of. I don't need a sample. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight. <laughs> Tender caresses down your... <laughs> and a donkey. Love, the prez. That's very shocking, sir. Where were they going to meet? Inside Stinky's diner. Stinky's? I can't believe the president would eat at Stinky's. I've lost all respect for the man. According to that letter, this isn't the only thing the president licked. Should be plenty of DNA-rich spit left on this envelope. The president's a very thorough licker. This far in the past, I assumed the Earth was still flat. I'm guessing they couldn't fit a television on there. A true weasel scout would keep his merit badges on him at all times. Be prepared. Be very prepared. Whoever chose this lamp was taking liberties with the concept of good taste. Things to do in Dallas. Hi, I'm George Washington. Shove your nuts in my mouth and I'll crack them. Please don't make fun of nuts.
putting some tachyons in a gravy boat at the Grand Duchess's bat mitzvah. What disgusting hellhole have we ended up in this time? Looks strangely familiar, like Super Bowl. I'm not here, sirs. You can safely ignore me. Done. What are you doing here in our office? Investigating the President's disappearance, sir. So, you're back with the Secret Service, then? Mmm, sure. Max wasn't missing. We've been on a case. We got beamed on board a spaceship! That's ridiculous, sir. Must have been a weather balloon. That was no balloon! It was a spaceship! Bosco saw it, too! Gas leak. Mass hypnosis. Two abductions on the same street in the same week? And you're going to just try and cover it up? I can neither confirm nor deny a cover-up, sir. How'd you find out we were missing? There was a rat, sir. Claimed he was de facto owner of this office since your disappearance. He was quickly taken away for questioning. Wow, it always takes us ages to get rid of Jimmy Two Teeth. We must be slipping, Max. All this time, I never thought to use rendition. How's the cover-up going? Very well, sir. Is what I'd say if there was a cover-up, which there isn't. Can you help us with our case? What seems to be the problem? Bosco's been abducted. Easily explained, sir. And he's trapped on a time-traveling spaceship! There's no such thing as time travel, sir. Look into my eyes, please. What were we talking about? You'd said that Mr. Bosco is having a perfectly rational vacation in Pago Pago. Yes... Pago Pago. Hey, look, Max. It's Agent Superball. You were saying something, sir. I can't remember. Very good, sir. We met a guy in Washington who's a dead ringer for you. That would be me, sir. That was 40 years ago. You couldn't still look that young without a time machine or something. Clean living, sir. There's no such thing as time machines. Don't you feel better now that you're no longer working for bad guys like Jorgen? Uh, yes. I enjoy working for the Secret Service. Fighting the good fight, protecting the President. That reminds me, Sam. Can we wrap this case up pretty soon? I've got a healthcare system and five foreign governments to topple. <laughs> and I'm way behind schedule. Were you able to patch things up with Mrs. Superball? That's a negative, sir. We spoke briefly. It ended badly. She says she can't talk to me when I'm emotional like this. Don't worry, Superball. Every time life closes one door, it opens another. That thought disgusts and terrifies me, sir. Be seeing you, Superball. We can't seem to avoid it. Have you been sending Boxy Betty hey. to... What? Hey, buddy! Throw us that remote control, would you? You're gonna need this! Thanks, buddy. Be you later. Nothing doing.
weird. It doesn't work on him for some incomprehensible reason we don't care enough about to pursue further. Good. Keep your fancy gewgaws and who's your watch it away from me. It couldn't hurt to take just a sample. We should have those results for you in about a week, Mr. Cake. Now, turn your head and cough. We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Bowl. It's a special recipe we made up ourselves, and anybody who says different is a damn liar. I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? Ambergris. I can't issue you a patent, sir. That ingredient is not in that sample. Oh, come on. How could you possibly know that? I'm a government official, sir. I know these things. I'll need to know the unique ingredient to issue you a patent. We'd like to pad. I see, and what? It's made with love. Sorry, sir. That ingredient is not in that sample. I'll need to know the unique ingredient to issue you a patent. We'd like to pad. I see. Wallaby sweat. Sorry, sir. That. We'd like to pat I quiescently frozen wombat guano. Sorry, sir. That ingredient is not I'll need to know the unique ingredient to issue you a patent. No, I'm pretty sure Bosco's father wasn't a tar cake. Nope. What do you say we replace that father? that I made that simple when my spit was most fertile don't touch that what do you say we replace what a waste what a senseless waste It's Mama Bosco's baby-making machine. The mother sample is locked, but the father sample is open. Time stream's been altered. Again. It's a sample of the president's spit. It's all set now.
Hmm, this sample says Mama... Don't touch that! It's all set now. Whee! Milk and hooch. Something for the kitties and something for your cereal. Cold orange things you suck. Never go out of... Gives time out for number one a whole new meaning. No, I'm pretty sure boss... No, I'm... I don't need a sample of that. The spaceship's artificial intelligence unit is stuck on the elevator. We've still got to figure out how to fix that time paradox, though. I yeah, but we don't want to rip a- We don't? What are my options? My personality can- Please choose from the following options. Abusive. Good choice, moron. Did you come up with that yourself, or did your idiot friend help out? So long. Get lost. Don't wander too far, Max. Try and stop me! bulletin board's all wet and ruined. We must get careless in the future. Who cares? Local mariachi Pedro... I can't read... The bulletin board's all wet and ruined. We must get... Who cares? Nothing doing.
Nah. No. -uh. Local mariachi Pedro died. I can't read the. What's with that poster of girl stinky on our future bulletin board? Weird. It says stinky stick tight adhesive, based on an old family recipe, number one throughout the entire galaxy, with secret ingredient vitamin 13. It can't be all that big a secret if it's on the poster. Maybe secrets are different in the future. like to I see vitamin 13 very well that seems to check out that patent grants you exclusive rights to make market and improve on your invention this must be just what Thomas Edison felt like minus the stealing and time travel of course oh Sam you're so naive No siree. So long, Stinky. We have to insist that you cease and desist all future production of gooey molasses tar cakes, Mr. Stinky. We're not angry at you for stealing from us. Just very, very disappointed. Oh, Peacock. That recipe's been in my family for centuries. The U.S. Patent Office says otherwise, Gramps. The U.S. Patent Office can f my s pus filled. F Actually, I don't believe that falls under their jurisdiction. Fine, I'll throw it out. Time stream altered. Wow, I've never seen anything that advanced. It must have at least 640 kilobytes of RAM. Yeah. Whatever, kid. This is exactly what I needed for my video game. I'll just download the AI. Yeah, you do that. Then go outside and play or something. Shut up! Uh, you broke the game, Sam! Nuh-uh, I made it better. This like totally blows now. Let's go to that dance and make the moves on some chicks. But I was going to Penn Station to pick up some power converters. Beat it, nerds! Make sure you check out the snack table, little me. If I remember correctly, the pigs and blankets were decadent. Time stream altered. Jackass. So, Max, feel any different? 
I feel like it's been too long since the Maxinator taught a lady what sweet, sweet love is all about. Let's motor so we can pick up some primo early 80s tale, bruh. Oh, hello, Miss B. Did it get freaky sexy in here, or is it just you? What'd you do to my Max? The better question is, what is your Max gonna do to you all night long? Don't look at me, Miss Bosco. He's been like this ever since we were kids. Why don't we ditch the pooch so you can give me a special tour of the store? I've been wanting to see what you've got round back. <laughs> I thought you were different, Max. That does it. I'm done with all of you men. Temporal anomaly corrected, jackass. Looks like we did a pretty good job patching up that cigarette burn on the fabric of reality. Yeah, that's right, ladies. Come on up and give Daddy Max Time Fixer some sugar. You're a lovably lecherous tool, Max. There's Sam and Max. Now you've seen just how dangerous it is to mess with T-H-E-L. Dangerous? All that stuff we just fixed was your fault. Shut up! All right, let's go home. How do we get out of here? <laughs> They know we're here! Relax, Bosco. You're gonna have a coronary. Yeah, they're probably the grotesque but misunderstood kind of aliens who just come to Earth because they hate cows and fields of weed. Well, you two go first. Crossing 98% complete. Prepare to deliver on my mark. It's, it's T-H-E-M! Oh, bienvenidos, amigos. Ah! What are you guys doing here? We can explain everything, quickly and simply. No, that is not our way. Yo soy el mariachi solitario. They say maybe later we don't have the time. Mariachi, I, 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 I come back from the future and pick up young versions of me. In our spaceship, I, 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 we set course through the time stream and feel Gringo's birthdays with glee. No! Don't, don't, don't freak out if you see Mariachi's extraños. It's just me and his fatos who wish you feliz cumpleaños. Ah! But spaceships like this are expensive. Even more when they travel through time. And singing for birthdays on spec makes us both go dinero. So we took on a contract and that's our new boss to co-sign. Mariachi, ay, 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 ay. We take souls of the damned and we send them to places unknown. I don't want to go! To the portal, ay, 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 ay. Although first we must crush them with gigantic heads made of stone. Our lives suck. Where they go, we don't know. But it's fine. <laughs> We still get 
tu sí, no importa nada. Como sea Dios o sea lo que suena tu cry. We were there for your birthday, we'll see you again. Oh, oh, the cowman has had a heart attack. Oh well. Begin the soul crushing. So, as I was saying, we had to sit and stare at nothing for one thousand years straight. Help me, Sam and Max! Look here, Pedro. Pedro! Boy, you people from the past are backwards. You think just because I'm mariachi with a big sombrero and mustache, I'm some two-dimensional cultural stereotype? You're right. I've been insensitive. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. What's your name? <laughs> I'm just kidding. My name really is Pedro. You've got to free Bosco, you maniacs. Nothing personal, but we cannot do that. We were scheduled to pick up two souls in Germany, but we only got the one. The cowman will fill our quota. You guys are pure evil. Oh, that's not nice. We're not evil. And after we deliver the cowman's soul, we'll have paid for the spaceship. And then you can quit? Oh, no, senor. There's still so much for us to do with our time machine. So many deep questions left to answer. Like, what about the far, far future? How will I die? I can think of a few ways. And what is it like at the beginning of time, before history was written? Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Chicken. Egg. Chicken. See, I must keep on until I find out for sure. You three mariachis look so much alike, it's uncanny. Didn't you hear the song? The others are younger versions of me. Oh, we weren't paying much attention to the song. We were too busy staring at your dingle balls. Gracias, senor. They really tie the room together, no? What are you doing here? Oh, I keep the eye on the soul crossing process. ¿Cómo estás, vaca hombre? Help! Muy bueno. I also do the light maintenance and the IT. This can't be a satisfying job for you. Don't you want to quit and go away forever? Oh, I got lots to complain about, believe you me. Who gets to be the captain? Pedro. Who gets to listen for the birthdays? Pedro, but who's stuck watching the clock and fixing the time card printer? Pedro. If you don't like your job, why don't you quit? Mm, being alone in here does let me practice the singing, and fixing the printer helps an old man feel useful. Adios. See you later, guys. Looks like some weird clock. It can take hundreds of years to cross a soul, senor. So we make the time vortex to speed things along. It says suck. By the looks of this place, somebody's been pushing the hell out of it. alien device. Oops. Why not again? Just leave it. Seems like everything on this ship of course apart these days. Hmm. It looks like some kind of futuristic low-tech printer. It's an ink ribbon for the printer. Please don't touch that. I'll just have to change it again. Not 
not happening. It's the Mariachi's colorful piñata. Hey, don't touch that. I just changed it. I can't believe Future S actually have the old Mary End. Everything that will... What are you guys doing here? We were picked up right after the volcano erupted. Obviously, it was a signal flare for the carvers to come get us. See, we're not so good with the direction. Hey, pal. Must be nice finally getting out of that dirt after a thousand years. <laughs> He's been buried all that time? That's so sad. Funny seeing you guys here again. If there's nothing funny about it, it's what we were carved to do. Hey, lighten up on Sam and Matt! Oh, you're one to talk, Mr. One Offensive Stereotype after the next. Now you're just being mean. Poor Bosco. The horror of time-traveling mariachis was too much for his weak heart to bear. How you doing, Bosco? You gotta help me out, guys. They're really bringing me down. And then, in 1158, there was that monkey that just kept on pooping. Attempt to enter soul-crushing area. Please acknowledge. Override, Captain Pedro. Arriba, Burro, Chipotle. Voice print match. Bridge override accepted. I had a feeling those mariachis wouldn't just stand by and let us take Bosco's soul back. Hey, what do we even say? Another errant Bermuda Triangle. Everything's starting to make sense. That was pretty good, Sam. I actually started to almost believe you. Lying is always a good substitute for not having a damn clue what the heck is going on. Birth dater doesn't work on these guys for some reason. Hey, a portable birthday checker. Pretty clever. How come it doesn't work on you? The mariachi can never have a birthday for himself. It is our curse. Putting course on screen. Have a slog. We are on course for our most difficult mission yet. Triplets! Keep the time shuttle open for emergencies while I figure out how we tackle this. The most dangerous boss day. Whatever. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. It has the embarrassing idol logo and more of those strange numbers. Hey, Mac, which one of the mariachis are you? Oh, yo no soy mariachi. Soy capitán. Soy capitán? Soy capitán. The mariachi says he is the captain. Yeah, I think we got that. Thanks. Who are you guys? We're Sam and... <gasps> Wait, not the Sam. You know who I am? Of course, you're the famous recording star, no? Well, I don't like to brag. It is you. No one believed you could have a career with no talent at all, but you proved us all wrong. You're a hero to all of us who wish to sing. You must be a great singer if you're the captain. I could escape this 
to peso operation and become the greatest singer time has ever known. If only I could ditch this dead weight. Rivalry! Now it's getting interesting. You want to start a solo career? See, si, but that can never happen as long as we keep singing for the boss days. How will I get my big break? You've got to set Bosco free. Oh no, senor. No one can enter the soul-crushing area once the protest has started. The rules, they are very explicit about this. This is all your fault. You're the ones who killed Bosco. That is ridiculous. Wait. You aren't going to sue, are you? Your singing scared him to death. It was a pre-existing condition. I have the witnesses. We'll let you go this time, but only because we respect your methods. Where are we going? Amigos, we are on course hasta la madre de todos los cumpleaños. Friends, we are on course for the mother of all birthdays. Sam, you've got to stop encouraging these guys. Look on the screen. Triplets. And not just any triplets. They all have the same birthday! What's so hard about your mission? Yeah, you just show up, sing, and leave everybody confused. The others, maybe. But the Capitan cannot be so sloppy. It's muy importante that no one notice us, or remember that we were ever there, for a year at least. Are we still on course? Si, embarrassing idol and the triplets birthday. Dead ahead. Permission to stop talking, Captain. Granted. What's your job around here, buddy? Shh. Quiet, senor. Did someone say... <laughs> oh, no. False alarm. Let me guess. You spend all your time listening for people to say birthday, okay? Did someone say birthday? Yeah, Sam just said birthday. Please, senors, my job is very important. This work is beneath you. It's tedious and error prone. Frankly, we think you should leave. Nonsense. I have caught six of the birthdays today alone. The look of happiness and utter confusion on people's faces makes it all worthwhile. This must be the most boring job ever. Don't you ever get a break? I get to go on the away missions. Hey, Max, what happens on April 22nd? Hmm, I think that's Earth Day. Okay. <laughs> Showtime, people. Attention! Wait, you make the joke on me, eh? Pretty snacky. Those away missions sound neat. Let's see you in action. Don't be silly, senor. I can't just go and sing for no reason. Come on, there's gotta be tons of birthdays going on. See, si, but we've already sung for all of those. We can only do it once. We demand you return our pal Bosco's soul. I can't do that, senor. The cowman's soul will help us pay for our mission. Why do you hate the birthday so much? Max, what do Australians celebrate on June 11th every year? Hmm, by any chance, would that be Perth Day? Did someone say, got me again? Max, want to go watch Pride and Prejudice and all the Bridget Jones Diary movies back to back? You know it, girlfriend. It'll be our Colin Firth Day. Did someone say, hold your guys? Sayonara. Okay. The talking dog said goodbye.
Oh, man, that song is even worse than I remember. So I, I can't believe I voted for you. Catchy. Keep it down, Max. We don't want to mess up time any more than we already have. You really nailed that high note. Whoa. And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner. No. Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Bin Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us. That's our cue, little buddy. Sick him. Sam and Max, listen to our words. Hey, look, Sam. Doppelgangers. Who are you clowns? We're you guys from your distant future. Heed our dire warnings. I always thought I'd be taller. What are you guys doing here? Beware Santa Claus. And Mr. Spatula. And Hugh Bliss. Actually, a lot of people have tried to kill us. This could take a while. Nonsense! Yeah, all those guys are our friends. Got any questions about your immediate future? Hmm, nope, can't think of any. What number am I thinking of right now? 28. That's all? There's nothing you're curious about? We'd rather see it for ourselves. Keeps the mystery in our relationship. <laughs> we just came to say hello. Somebody's got trouble letting go of the past. I'll be glad when I grow out of that attitude problem. All right, well, hello. Okay, that's done. Congratulations on your recent embarrassing idol victory. Now hand over that contract. No chance. We need it. But that's supposed to be my contract. I won it, fair and square. And I helped him cheat. Forget it, clones. That contract is ours. Now take a hike. Let's get back to our time machine, Max. Yeah, I've seen more than enough of this place for one lifetime. Time machine? Oh, cool. Where to, little buddy? Just hit random buttons. Well. So, that's bad, right? Yep. Oh boy! In the future we've got our own spaceship! And our own industrious and no doubt completely legally hired crew. Incoming delivery. Entrega entrante. You jerks! You made us go through the last year and a half all over again. Stand aside, decadent future versions of ourselves. Yeah, we've got a very important case to solve here. I don't think he wants this hot fudge sundae. I'm not putting my mouth on that. No siree. Nah. It's for the good of the future, Max. Time stream altered. Jackass. Looks like our trusty bulletin board is still in good shape. Local mariachi Pedro died this week due to complications from inhaling ink ribbon fumes. What a waste.
finally getting the hang of this time travel stuff. Let us change the course of time without fear or confusion. Right on. Let's change the national day. The official date has been changed. So it is written, so it shall be. Hey, Super Bowl, what day is it today? It's the 6th of September, sir. It's my birthday. I said, it's my birthday. Sorry I'm late, amigos. Did someone say, first day? Wait up, guys. I'll be there in just a minute. Oh, no. Gracias for the song, senor. This has been the best birthday ever. I want, I want to ask, ask you something. something. Hey, pal, I'll ask the questions here. But, oh, all right, go ahead. What is he waiting for? Be patient, Max. It takes a while to think up the right thing to say. Max and I have to get to the moon. How do we get there? You need a time-traveling phone booth. All right, where do we get one of those? Ask Agent Superball in the future. What is this place? This is not our beautiful house. How did we get here? I know you like a brother. Weren't you going to ask me something? How to get to the moon, for instance. Oh, right. How do we get there? You need to get a clue. All right, where do we get one of those? We've got one. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Hey, Sam, don't we have a recording contract? Yeah, but we need it for, um, uh, huh, I can't remember. It must be important or we wouldn't still be carrying it. You kept it so you could bring it to us, right? I guess so. Along with that carton of missile pops you promised. Don't push it, Max. All right. Here you go. Well done, Sam and Max. That was the last of your quests. You have scored 234 out of a possible 500 points. Weren't you going to trade us something? Uh, yeah. Here's that screwdriver you guys wanted. Goodbye. We'll never forget all you've done here today. Have fun on the rest of your adventures. I'm even more confused than usual. It's a mariachi. Here you go, Captain. Your ticket to musical stardom. My very own recording contract. 
Now I can teach this dead weight and become the international superstar. A mariachi superstar. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Oh, no, senor. Mariachi music is old news. I'm going to sing songs about trains. <laughs> Good news, senor. We found the gruesome details of your horrible demise. Oi, what a stupid way to die. Uh, I can think of stupider ways. And I could help. Kind of makes you want to quit your job, huh? Oh, no. There are still so many big questions I want answered. But screw that stupid printer. Nobody's gonna need this worthless ink ribbon. Hey, you can't just throw litter into the time vortex. Yeah, Sam. Somewhere a time-traveling Native American is crying. Where did it land? At the rate we're going, carry the dress. Last month at the castle in Germany. And stop me! Appears to be made of the finest leather from only the finest in mutilated cattle. Whee! We'd like to get a time card, please. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. It's blank. So long. Get lost. Failure. Just look at it, Max. Eh, uh, what am I looking at exactly? Everything. Our entire universe, before the creation of matter and energy and quantum particles or something. It's at this spot that everything you know, or will ever know, will be Mr. Featherly. Oh, hey guys. Mr. Featherly? Sam and Max? Are you really the oldest living creature in existence? Or are you the last of a race of terrifying elder gods bent on restoring chaos to our upstart universe? Neither. I assure you I arrived here quite by accident. How'd you get here? I was filming the climactic volcanic eruption scene in Midtown Cowboys, the motion picture. Suddenly, I found myself abducted onto some type of alien spacecraft. After a frightfully amateurish song and dance number, I was deposited unceremoniously into the beginning of the universe. Oh, that old story. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Midtown Cowboys movie? Uh, yes. Well, I'm sure we were going to call you, but we decided to go in a different direction. Oh, we have got to get a new agent, Sam. How do you like it here around the Singularity? I thought dinner theater in Ocala, Florida was dull. But that was nothing compared to, well, nothing. Being here at the start of it all can't be all bad. Well, I will give it one thing. The acoustics are outstanding! <laughs> 
Why don't you come with us, Mr. Fatherly? I'm sorry. I can't let you do that, Sam and Max. That chicken is the source of all life in the universe. Removing him would cause a catastrophic temporal paradox. Catastrophic temporal paradox! <laughs> Mr. Featherly's not the only chicken around here. Hmm, apparently I am. And there's the rub. See you around, Mr. Featherly. Probably not, Sam, since he'll be long dead before we're even born. Oh, right then. Hang loose, Philo. That's the singularity from which the entire universe is going to spring in a mind-bendingly tremendous cataclysm. Neat! You've been doing a good job, Mr. Featherly, but we decided to cast someone younger. Very well. As long as I can leave this accursed... Uh, wait! What are you doing? Put me down at once! Suck it up, Featherly! It only takes a day or two to get used to Sam's caustic B.O. Curse you, Max and Sam! Time stream altered. Jackass. Put me down at once! Not yet, Mr. Featherly. Wait, where are you going? He doesn't need to be screwed. Dear God, man, do you ever wash that coat? Que onda con el pollo? He's from before time began. Yeah, turns out the chicken came first. Hmm, it makes no sense. If that's the chicken, who's there and now? Well, we left an egg. Likely story. I'll have to see that egg. But, 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 I'm just kidding. Boy, you past people are so gullible. Wait, wait, wait! No! Don't put me back in there! Any more questions about the nature of our existence? No, the chicken was the big one. Vaya con Dios, Maxi Sam. Now the spaceship is ours to command! Ensign Sam, set course for ancient Rome! Our mission? To hug Caligula! Stop goofing off, Max. We've got to extend that bridge and return Bosco's soul. What's happening? I don't want to go! Whoops! Great. Now we'll have to figure out how to get all up in there. enter soul-crushing area. Please acknowledge. We got rid of them all. Just make with the bridge already. All right, all right. Standing bridge. Hola, Sam and Max. You don't know us, but we are time-traveling mariachis. With a warning from the future. Whatever you do, do not extend that bridge. Bridge extended. Uh-oh. For a body and time vortex, self-destruct sequence engaged. Madre de Dios, let's get out of here! We could cover some more birthdays. Okay, Pedro, you take the bog in the diner. Pedro, you take the statue-loving lady on Easter Island. I'll take the monster. Oh, yeah, good luck, maxi -san. Setting course for the beginning of the universe. Total destruction imminent. Please evacuate immediately. 
So, Sam, is now a good time to start pulling my hair out and wetting myself in panic? Knock yourself out, pal. Better hurry, though. strong enough to suck Bosco's corpse up halfway. They can make a time-traveling spaceship, but they can't invent an interdimensional portal that doesn't lose suction. do anything while time is frozen. Poor Bosco. The horror of time-traveling mariachis was too much for his weak heart to bear. Check this out, Max. And all those tourists. You stop time! Neat! Now make it go backwards! Nose! Ow! That's the best I can do, pal. Do anything while time is frozen. It won't do anything while time is frozen. It won't do anything.
I wish Bosco hung in the air longer. His contorted corpse really lightens the mood of our impending annihilation. Poor boss air. Pretty exciting, huh? Oh, we can't die now. We have so much to live for. You guys just cannot make up your minds. That's the kind of fun that doesn't last. And all those tourists rubbing their hands all over me. Nose. Well, that's the kind. Well, that's the kind. beginning of the universe destruction imminent go little buddy it's now or never where do you think this portal goes anywhere that's not on a spaceship set to self-destruct and hurtling towards the beginning of the universe all right sam this doesn't work i'll see you in hell <laughs> 